Hey, happy Tuesday, my lights. Welcome back to Tower by Cherie. We're going to get started on your reading and see what spirit has for my beautiful lights today. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, first card up, guys. It's going to be good. Whoa, Six of Pentacles in the center. Amazing. Absolutely mind-blowing. All right, guys, so first card up is the Ten of Pentacles. This this is unbelievable. This, this whole layout is just unbelievable. Let me show you what this is, guys. All right. First card is Ten of Pentacles. This is when you have everything you could ever want for and then some, okay? So this is you have love. All these pentacles have to do with money, money coming in for my beautiful Aquariuses. There is material wealth in the background of this card like crazy and celebration, all right? This is your overall health, rest, feeling rejuvenated when this windfall comes in. Six of Pentacles, guys, is all about the finances, okay? I've been feeling some kind of way the past three, four days, like something huge is coming, something big. I feel like we're extremely close to getting these finances now that I've been talking about for months and months. This is all about money. It's about sharing money, giving money, getting money, and humanitarian projects, okay? So some of you are going to have enough money that you are going to be helping others, all right? This is the world opportunity coming in alongside the money, okay? This is correlated. This opportunity is about money, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is a card that talks about security, serenity, wealth, living a life of luxury, all right, guys? It don't get any better than that. I am so super, super excited. Let's see what else Spirit has for us today. I don't know. I feel like stopping right there. I'm going to have an amazing day and I hope you will too. All right, guys, let's see what else we have. I have to calm down here a little bit. All right. So I'm talking about love here. Something to do with this queen of wands. All right, I'm seeing some kind of uh, balancing out here with this queen. Um, something regarding her. Uh, this is about love, like I said. Uh, something, she's trying to be strong about something here in the relationship. Also, I'm seeing it getting better. I'm seeing it growing. I'm seeing, um, so I feel like overall somebody was having issues in the relationship this isn't about a breakup. This is about a couple that's been kind of trying to work things out. And this is with somebody that you absolutely love. And I'm seeing this queen trying to be very strong and stick it out. She wants this to work. And in the center, I'm seeing it working. I'm seeing not only is it going to work, but it's going to continue to flourish you guys are going to get closer because you're go it's worth working on it it's you, the two of you are both thinking that you're both worth it to one another so whatever it takes you're willing to um to do so that's excellent okay here i'm seeing this good news coming something to do with this king here this is a masculine okay um Something, I don't know what this is, but something is rubbing you the wrong way, okay? You're generally very confident in yourself, but this, whatever this is, is shaking your confidence, Aquarius, okay? Um, this can be uh, somebody in your life who's depressed, or this could be some kind of drug addiction. This could be uh, just somebody doing something really toxic, all right, and it's shaking your self-confidence. It's also rubbing you the wrong way. You're feeling annoyed and agitated, all right? So it's time for a new start, okay? Stop holding on to things that put you in a state of conflict, all right? You don't have to be in that state of conflict. And I'm looking at this King of Wands over here next to this Knight of Pentacles, all right, so I'm seeing these two masculines here. It looks like you're going through something. All right, so 
I don't know what it is between the two of you that uh, you're holding on to, but it looks like you need it. You're needing a new start. Okay. Um, this could be a business. This could be a relationship of some sort. I'm not really sure. I'm seeing a victory here. Uh, for those of you who have gone through traumas. Okay. This is about, uh, deceit and, um, people, other people making you feel ignored, um, or are you feeling alone, uh, after being traumatized, okay, and stuck, all right, I'm seeing a victory for you, and I know this is what you want, you don't want to hold on to this stuff anymore, so guys, just, just let it go, okay, I know it sounds easier said than done, but you can do this, you can do this, guys, if you're needing help, I, I don't promote this, uh, and I, and I'm gonna start promoting it, all right, my services, I don't just do a $15 reading. I have other services that I offer uh, for those of you who like to do things over the phone. I do a phone uh, consult if you want. It's a, It can be a reading. It can be just, you know, to talk things through if you're needing help with something. I'm also a life coach, a spiritual life coach. So um, that is listed in my services as well, um, along with the $15 reading. All right, so here I'm picking up, guys, on a feminine. Uh, you're committed to this king of swords, but this king of swords is thinking about ending the relationship right now. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what the problem is, but uh, he's feeling s uh, some kind of way right now where, he, you know, this is what he's thinking. He's thinking of maybe ending this commitment for some reason. Oh, okay. I see. This is a karmic, this is a karmic relationship, my loves, okay? So, listen up, Aquarius. If you are finishing each other's sentences, if you are basically reading each other's minds, um, knowing what the other one is thinking at times, if you argue and fight um, intensely and everything you do is super intense and over the top, you know, uh, sex is over the top, very passionate. Um, this is a karmic relationship. And what that means is you came back to complete something in this lifetime or to make something up to each other or one of you has to make something up to the other. Okay, this goes along with what I tell you that life gave us eternal life. And we keep coming back to learn and teach, okay? We do not die. There is no such thing as death, okay? When the body gets sick and old, we leave the body. We're still here in spirit, okay? Um, until we decide to come back again. So you guys are a karmic pair. Now, because of the intensity of the relationship, they don't usually last usually once the thing that you you're here to complete is completed or made up to one or the other or both the relationship ends okay um on occasion it doesn't have to and sometimes just knowing that you're a karmic couple can change that for you because you you become conscious of it and you start treating each other differently okay because you know it's going to take that treating each other differently to make it work all right guys so for those of you who are feeling left out in the cold defensive um and this is for my singles by the way all right, you're looking for something to come in quickly because you're tired of feeling like this. All right, this is just, you know, feeling defensive um, and feeling left out in the cold, uh, just feeling like there's no help, uh, you're alone, um, the days go by, one day after the other is just like one shithole after another, nothing's good, nothing good is coming to you, just kind of depressed, all right, if that's how you're feeling, um, it may be time to start standing up for yourself and what you believe in, so hear me out here, okay, you need to start coming into your authenticity and looking at life a little bit differently, so a lot of times when we're feeling this way, it's because we're not being our authentic selves. We're trying to please other people. We're trying to, uh, you know, stay away from, you know, 
<clears throat> other people looking down on us or having some opinion of us. So we're kind of like in hiding who we really are. All right. This card is telling you to start standing up for yourself and what you believe in. All right. If you do decide to be that brave and come into your authenticity and stop giving a rat's ass what people think about you, you are going to um, <clears throat> lose people. Okay. You might find yourself um, in a position where, um, there people don't resonate with you anymore. You don't resonate with them. So when this happens, there are places you can go where you can find people just like you that are, uh, vibrating higher, that are, um, brave and authentic. And, you know, you're becoming a spiritual person. You're, you're, you're going from that, um, caterpillar into a butterfly you're beginning to awaken you're having your awakening all right so when that happens a lot of us um how do we know this is a question how do we know when we're having an awakening a lot of people ask that right um <clears throat> for a lot of people suddenly you know that things around you are they start to feel fake and you start to get this feeling that you want to know the truth about life you want to know what's going on around you you become hungry for information you start doing uh research you want answers okay and you want them fast and that's what this card is about something coming in quick all right um this also gives you a sense of freedom when you realize that you don't have to hide anymore okay so the awakening you might see things you might hear things you might hear voices uh when you're when things are quiet at night you might hear a whole sentence for me i hear whole sentences but i can't he, i can't make out what they're saying it's muffled so um but you're hearing things from other realms um, it's actually pretty cool. You have to be open to this for it to happen to you. Okay. If you don't believe it and you're closed or you're scared of it, um, don't worry because it, it won't happen. All right. If you want to become a, a, a highly intuitive, um, spiritual person, you have to open up to it. All right. Here I'm seeing somebody is, uh, well, this is good. Somebody's moving away from all of this chaos this morning. All right. So if this is you, please comment. You're moving away. There's chaos. You're sick of it. You're tired of it. You've gotten clarity on this and you're saying no mas, no more. Okay. This has some connection with this Knight of Cups. Okay. This Knight of Cups is using his intuition, by the way, on you. This person's been thinking about you. Um, let's go further. This might be someone at work, by the way, okay? Um, I'm seeing some sadness for some of you regarding the workplace. I'm seeing that your job or your career is causing you a burden, okay? You're feeling just burdened and sad. You're not happy about uh, what you're doing. You're not happy about the people around you. Um, you're craving something. You want this badly. You want to celebrate. You want happiness. And you also want security. You want your money piled up nicely in an account so you don't have to worry anymore. And you're tired of this whole scenario. Guys, if this is you, comment, okay? Just having to get up and go to work uh, for 150,000 years, it feels like, right? To me, I feel like I, I just work 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 i mean damn guys have you ever thought about this outside of the box like i've been working you know not me personally but whoever you are you know whether it's 30 years 40 years 50 60 years damn you know don't you think that if we the people were in charge we would have been able to retire at a much younger age um so we could enjoy our golden years Think about that, right? Anyway, we've been steered in the wrong direction. All right, so here, though, I am seeing this, this want, right? This dream of not having to deal with this anymore and becoming free. Um, okay, so they're saying that this is spiritual, okay? Spirit is moving my aquas right now. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is... 
uh, representing a, um, a very secure spot in life, um, wealth and celebration next to this wealth and security and independence okay and i'm seeing a great transition coming into play with this all right so spirit is saying they're moving you something's about to come into play so all the things i just talked about um spirit prompted me to talk about for that reason they want you to know that things are being readied up for you aquas okay so that you no longer have to feel the way you've been feeling for many 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 years because that's not how god intended your life to be and i'm seeing happiness over joy um uh, emotions over joy uh what do i want to say here i can't speak suddenly your emotions overflowing from your cup all right, and I'm speaking to uh, my masculines and feminines. They're talking about unity, uh, what's about to come into play. They need everybody to unite, okay? It doesn't matter who you are, where you live, um, what country you're in. Uh, be focused on this now because this is what's coming. This is what's needed to happen right now, okay? And I'm seeing wealth. All right, I'm seeing this masculine here. I'm seeing movement toward happiness. I'm seeing uh, a lot of manifestation that is becoming available to you, okay? And there's a lot of masculine energy here. I'm seeing this father figure here and this king of pentacles who is very wealthy in this layout, okay? I'm seeing happiness coming your way. I feel like I'm talking to a father and his wealthy son. I'm seeing the father who was able to manifest like crazy, and I'm seeing a lot of happiness in the middle of this layout, all right? And here, guys, I'm talking to my beautiful empaths, okay? I want to hear about your experiences, guys. Um, if you're, if you've had any you know, spiritual experiences. I would love to hear about them. Just try to keep them short so that in your comments, you don't overtake the whole page. Okay. Just keep it to a, a paragraph, but I'm very interested extremely. All right. And I am seeing my empaths. I'm seeing something huge, something, uh, financially huge coming in for you. Some type of, uh, new financial, beginning next to the new beginning new start card so these cards being together are very powerful and i didn't see this one here okay so let me just show you this whole layout guys because this is very interesting all right this is my uh empathic card okay my queen of cups you don't have to be a feminine you can be a masculine and be an empath okay also um ace of pentacles is a new start a new financial beginning this could also be a new career or job for someone and a new start a new beginning okay and next to that i'm seeing some of you feeling stuck here with this you're wanting this you've been waiting for this you're looking for this balance and it's going to come in for you all right so guys this is a very positive reading i hope that you're enjoying it don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it helps the channel it helps me and i do love and appreciate every single one of you guys here i'm seeing somebody's upset regarding a commitment or this could be court. This could be somebody got in trouble, actually. All right. You might be going to court uh, over something or looking for a justice of some sort. All right. I'm seeing uh, communication coming in regarding the windfall. The windfall card is dead center. And also, um, when this card appears, know, Aquarius, that you have some type of angelic um angels overseeing overlooking protecting you all right positivity coming in through communication with this windfall guys have you noticed that we keep getting the communication card next to the windfall all right we're going to be hearing something about this okay and this is going to be the justice right here all right um some of you are i just felt and heard um the decisions you're needing to be making right now over your finances are getting very hard, more and more difficult, harder to make, harder to deal with. It's getting harder to um, keep your emotional, uh, for those of you going through this, it's it's hard to keep up your emotional 
uh, well-being. You're starting to maybe fall into a bit of a depression. All right, this can't come fast enough. So unexpected windfall coming in. This is the blessing, the money we're talking about. This is the justice that we're going to be hearing about. All right, guys, I'm going to end on this note. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I hope you have a fabulous day and I will talk to you later.